Hey guys, how's it going? Just wanted to talk about um, multiple UVs again. We talked about it a while back in like some of the earlier VODs on the channel. Just kind of wanted to touch on it a, a little bit more. So, um, so we're in Blender here, right? And you've got this building here. Uh, we've got some material breakup on the brick. And one of the common things I get asked is like, how do you make like buildings not look so tileable, right? So like if we if we turn up the brightness of the uh, the environment, you can see we've got some some nice break up here. But at the same time, the brick is a tileable material, and that's how you're keeping your your resolution. You can see there's some other things that are happening with the with the break up, like roughness variation and and uh, changes in the color of the albedo um, and roughness. So, anyways, um, you can see there's some drips and stuff here. While this is tileable, we're using another UV set in order to uh, allow us to depict where those changes in information can happen. Uh, so I'm just going to walk you through how you can set those up in Blender and then also just a quick quick view of it in uh, how, how you set it up in Unreal. So, okay, so if we look at this building and you select the, the mesh, you can see there's, there's a few pieces in here. And if we go to the uh, UVs, you can see I've actually got one, two, three UVs. And UVs start at zero, uh, usually in, in most engines. So UV zero is your first UV set. Uh, in Blender without add-ons, I believe the top one is always the first one and there's no way to really change the order of that. So that can be a little finicky at times. Of course, there are add-ons for that. So keep that in mind. Um, and I mean, maybe in the more recent Blender, uh, maybe they've added that, I haven't looked. But uh, just to give you an idea, let's uh, maybe we can pull this out here and not crash everything. Uh, UV editor, we'll just get rid of that. And we'll just look at the UVs when I select this and edit. So you can see UV zero, ignore these. These are essentially pieces that are not UV'd. I usually shrink those down and put them in a little corner here so they're not forgotten, but also not contributing too much to whatever the shader's doing. But uh, you can see UV zero, we've got essentially a zero to one of course, there's some wasted space here, but it's just trying to get information for these end gons uh, to show where uh, where a mask can be painted. So this this is technically UV set zero with the space of UVs being set up so that you can actually paint uh, uniquely on them. Um, you don't have to go unique, but just so you know, the way that I've set this up is I'm going to be using a unique mask on that, which is actually the one of these guys so you can see here's the unique mask which is three channels the red green and blue channel um, and those channels are depicting where it's light and where it's dark and where there's roughness variation or slight uh, albedo shifts uh, when you hit uv uv1 this is actually the texel density uv set so this is the one where i've scaled it to be uh, uniform for the entire building facade so that all of the bricks are clean and, and lined up, right? So all the breakups happening in the UV zero and in UV one, I've got this texel density setup going on here. Um, and now if we go actually to the, I think I set it up in shading, yeah. So in shading, you can see there's been some painting here. If I select this and we actually look at the shader this is where in, un, in not in Unreal, in Blender, where uh, you would depict which UV set is affecting uh, what what texture, right? So for example, um, we've got like an AO. What else we got? We got this, uh, this is diffuse. This is the mask. So you can see the mask is actually pointing to UV zero. If I make it go to UV two, which technically is, is nothing, I think I've shrunk the UVs to a small little corner. That way I can show you what it looks like without the mask. So this is what you're used to seeing, right? As a, just a tileable brick. Um, so by setting that to uh, UV zero, which is the zero to one layout for the, oh yeah, you'll see. Sometimes you gotta change it up here or you select it here and you'll see it. Um, we've got the mask looking at UV zero now, which is this guy. And uh, 
UV1 is pointing to all the other maps. So with, with that all set up, um, and of course I've got some channel splitting for the mask itself, but we're, we're just looking at UVs in general. Um, so with that said, I just want to open up Unreal real quick and just uh, show you uh, making a material. We'll just call it UV test. We'll just open this up. We'll just drag it up here. And all, all a UV, actually, all a UV set is, I'll just drag this texture in here so we have something to plug into. So let's say this is your, your base color, right? And then you've got, uh, you want, let's say you want this texture to be in, in UV zero. And then you have another one, you want this one to be in UV, UV one. So all that is is right clicking and then typing in text. And then you're looking for texture coordinate. You click that and then you plug that in here. And we'll just dupe this. We'll plug this in here. And it's probably a good idea to rename these if you can. But uh, just so that you can at a glance understand what you're what you're doing. But coordinate index, that's the UV set selector. Uh, so you can build a shader knowing that you're going to be using other UV sets later, right? But uh, so you've got UV, let's say we want this one to be UV zero, so that one's zero, but we want this texture, which is, let's say this is like, I don't know, let's say this is your your roughness for whatever reason, uh, but you can have it look at UV one. So now this is UV one and this is UV zero. So if you have a mesh that's applied that has a UV zero and a UV one, it will look at this, it'll apply this to UV zero and it'll apply this to UV, uh, UV one. So that's the basics of using multiple UV sets. A lot of questions get asked about like how many UV sets you should be using and if it's dangerous to use a ton. I have no like um, mobile experience. So like iPad and, and Android and iPhone. But um, I would imagine if you're trying to save on memory Using multiple UV sets is probably not a good idea. Um, probably two is where where you're probably sitting at, just for shader instructions and all that stuff. Uh, but uh, you should know that Unreal uses the second UV set when you import an asset to make, or I should say UV1, to make your light map UVs automatically, right? Unless you bring in your own. So right off the bat, Unreal tends to be using about two UV sets by default. So with that in mind, it, you know, if you're building your portfolio, I don't see a problem with using two or three UV sets. And uh, it's more about what you can do once you expand outside of just using one or two UV sets. When you can use a UV set for texel density, you can use one for a zero to one UV set that allows you to bake your, your your unique maps, which is like your normals and your ambient occlusion, but then also be able to make a, a packed mask, which is a red, green, and, and blue channel, and sometimes alpha if you want. Um, to be able to have all of that kind of packed into just two UV sets and then a third one for light maps if you want, or a third one for, I don't know, if you've got something that you're doing fancy in the shader that's allowing for like world space information that you want those UVs to be quite clean, right? That that can be pretty important uh, to then have like maybe a third UV set. But don't worry too much about how much memory it's gonna cost if you're just working on your portfolio. Um, and yeah, multiple UV sets, they're, uh, they're super useful. You could actually use a UV set for um, trim sheets on one and then texel density on the other so your trim sheets could be like normal and um, variation in the roughness and your AO. And then the other UV set could be texel density. So there's a lot of, there's a lot you can do once you start playing with more than um, one UV set. So yeah, hopefully that was useful. It's a quick, short video. Um, and it's, it's a basic thing, but it gets asked a lot. So I just want to have a video that you guys can go to to get those answers pretty quickly. So yeah, anyways, I'll see you on the next one.